Okay. 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 Dan Crenshaw. I don't know if my audience knows who Dan Crenshaw is. Probably not. Some of you might know Dan Crenshaw from when he got made fun of on SNL by Pete Davidson. You may be surprised to hear he's a congressional candidate from Texas and not a hitman in a porno movie. <laughs> <laughs> This is not going to be a political video, I swear to God. Uh, we are not going to get into politics at all because Republican or Democrat, they're both run by vampires. That being said, Dan Crenshaw has got to stop being hilarious. He ran two years ago. He is currently a United States congressperson in Texas. And holy shit, he is putting out some campaign ads, not for himself, but for other Republicans. Like, I guess he's got this ethos of, oh wow, he's a cool Republican congressperson with an eye patch. Uh, he's really making a mythos. Apparently, he made two of these. I found one of them on Twitter, and then I found out that there was another one. So he made two of these. What they did was, they made a campaign ad that looked like it was a trailer for a film that no one would see. The American story is one of true exceptionalism. It's built on the greatest ideas in history. This victory tonight, it's about you. It's about defining those. Sorry, folks. I'll be right back. Okay, so so Dan Crenshaw is just talking to a crowd of people who are cheering. And then this guy shows up, goes, has up, has up, in his ear. And he goes, sorry, guys. I'll be right back. Spoiler alert. He never comes back. And then, so it goes from him giving a press conference. He said he was going to be right back from it. Never comes back from to like the walk and talk scene in like spy action movies. It's a little like, what do we got? We got some stuff, but it's so like awkward and clunky. It's three middle-aged white guys pretending to be in a James Bond movie. What do we got? Well, it's not over in Georgia. The Senate races went to a runoff. What are we up against? You'll never believe this. Far left activists are attempting to gain full and total control of the U.S. government. You supported the Green New Deal. You supported Medicare for all. <laughs> yeah. What a terrible shot at Kamala Harris. She does not support the Green New Deal. She does not support Medicare for all. She's literally laughing at them. Hey, do you support Medicare for all? <laughs> so, so, so Crenshaw, it now suit jacket off he's just got his dress shirt on but that's coming off in a second ladies what's our situation on the ground we have two patriots down there senator lawler and senator purdue great fighters with a great message they just need a little backup last question who do you want to bring bring everyone call in everyone so now dan crenshaw's in a plane like it's shot from the hurt locker he puts on his helmet and it's got after effects like iron man stuff on it that's so funny hey dan you're not iron man dan crenshaw hey dan crenshaw look at me look at me with your eye dan crenshaw you're not iron man and so then dan just jumps out of the plane he just jumps out is that the best way to get to georgia look i don't know if you've been to a georgia airport but this might be the best way to get to georgia control what's the situation at the lz Good evening, sir. Rather lovely form, if I may say so. But we do have a small problem at the landing zone. So-called anti-fascists, an ironic term given their propensity to, well, act like fascists, are patrolling the area. They get a bunch of people to dress up as if they're Antifa, which is so funny. What is this, everybody in the production's dad? Who, who is that guy with with this, this, this old man? How many... How many old men are in Antifa? Should we really be afraid of Antifa? It's a bunch of old men saying that fascism is bad. And they got a picture. They're looking for, they're looking for Dan Crenshaw. And so then we get a hard shot of Dan Crenshaw skydiving while talking to his Jarvis, I guess, cause Dan Crenshaw's Iron Man. Recommend we shift north three kilometers. How does that sound? Negative. I want to say hello to the greeting party. What's the bearing? They have heavily dubbed over what the footage is with Dan Crenshaw doing a voiceover in post. Negative. I want to say hello to the greeting party. Because what are they? You know what that footage actually looks like? It looks like. <laughs> 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 
My favorite part of this is coming up, but they got these two guys here in a car looking for Dan Crenshaw. They look like Seth Rogen and Bill Hader from uh, from Superbad. And they're just shooting the shit waiting for Dan Crenshaw to show up because they know he's coming to Georgia, but they're not expecting him to come out of a plane. I don't even know why I'm so angry, you know? Oh, the news told us to be. Okay, 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 okay. They're looking for Dan Crenshaw, and one of them goes, uh, you know what, I don't even know why I'm so angry. And the other guy goes, the news told us to be. Oh, dude, that's so funny, dude. Hey, Patrick, are you angry too? Yeah. What's the matter? Oh, the news told us to be. Like, hey, you wanna know why you're so mad? It's cause the news told you to be. There's no reason to be upset about nothing. Everything's totally fine. And if you're upset, that just means you watch the news. <laughs> and then Dan Crenshaw, superhero landings right onto the, the, the hood of the car. No parachute, just lands on the car. Jumped out of a plane, lands on the car, right on these two, these two little soy boys. And this whole thing is a campaign ad for like a meet and greet rally type thing to drum up support for, for the Georgia runoff election. This is the second video he's skydived out of to drum up support. Dude, D Dan Crenshaw's a YouTuber. Dan Crenshaw's got clickbait. Dan Crenshaw's got retention. Dan Crenshaw has a better YouTube channel than I do. Dan Crenshaw has 4,000 more subscribers than me. Hey guys, can we get 5,000 more subs? Subscribe below. I, I saw Georgia Reloaded, thought it was pretty good, didn't know it was a sequel. So now we're gonna watch the original Texas Reloaded. He's Nick Fury over here. He's got he's got retina analyzing software on his phone that only reads his bad eye, dude. Nick Fury who, son? What's it reading? <laughs> Your mission, should you choose to accept it, will be to save Texas. To do so, you must recruit an exceptional team of congressional candidates. They must be courageous, patriotic, and absolutely fearless. Time is of the essence. That's so funny. They did the exact same. Uh, they, there was more effects on the visor in the first one than there was in the second one. The second one just had like the thing right here. This one, it's got a full visor of, of After Effects. <laughs> What a good cut. What a good cut. Superhero landing parachute down, parachute falls behind you. I'm in my working clothes. You still know how to fly one of these things? Dan Crenshaw. I'm putting the team together, Wesley. You in? They, they have the charisma of a high school theater class. I tell you, this is so funny. They're, they're doing banter back and forth. He's like, man, why did you, you could have just texted me, man. Like you didn't have to jump out of a plane. And Dan Crenshaw's like, but it's cool. So, so this guy's a cyber warfare expert named Tony Gonzalez. So he's doing the thing they do in movies. He's hacking the mainframe. He's clickety clacking and he's not even touching buttons really. He's just and the screen says initializing. It just says secret information on it. Secret information. He goes from one laptop to two. What a good shot. 
The key sounds don't even match up with what he's pressing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And then Dan Crenshaw just comes in and unplugs what he's doing. He's investigating cyber warfare, Dan. Hey, Dan, he's busy. I'm going to continue hacking into these government systems to see what I can find out about all this national and international corruption I know is going on. This is this is a real sinister six, I tell you. We we got a we got a we, we got a hateful eight right here. We got a we got a mysterious seven on our hands, folks. We got a ragtag group of guardians of the galaxy here. Hey, hey, I'm putting a team together. <laughs> Told you it's not what I do anymore. It's not gonna be like last time. It's always like last time, Dan Crenshaw. What did they just blow up? What's first of all, this is bad after effects. They are all in front of a green screen. Look, I don't know what this is, Dan, but keep them coming. I'm, oh, I support the content. Dan, hey, Dan, I subbed. Holy shit, I subbed to Dan Crenshaw. Nobody asked you to jump out of a plane twice. You'd think in the first one, you're like, oh, that's cute. That's funny. He jumped out of a plane for a campaign ad. And then he turns around and does it again? Two months later? Uh, if, if, if every two years we get a trailer for, for another state reloaded, oh, pfft. Puerto Rico reloaded. Arizona reloaded. Vermont reloaded. Like there's people that think this is cool. Like there are some people who are like, hey, who's your favorite congressperson? Oh, pfft, pfft. my favorite congressperson wears camo pants, a long black shirt, has an eye patch, jumps out of airplanes, and he's not from a porno. I, don't even, I hate Pete Davidson. I hate Pete Davidson. Honestly, Pete Davidson making fun of Dan Crenshaw on SNL has been the funniest thing on SNL since Chris Farley died. Like and subscribe. Hey, I appreciate you guys for uh, sticking with me through the end of the video here. Like and subscribe, all that jazz. Share the video with your friends and uh, love each other.